Hi, welcome to Kauzarwai's channel. In this video, we are going to see unbalanced assignment problem. Already we have uploaded few videos about assignment problem. You can find the links in the description box. Also, you can find the links for various topics and various subjects over there. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the further notification of my new uploads. Now, let's get into the video. First, let us see the necessary information about assignment problem. See, in assignment problem, it has two different types. Number one, balanced assignment problem. Second one, unbalanced assignment problem. Balance we have already seen in the previous video, okay, along with the algorithm. If you want to see that video, please see the description box to find the link. Here we are going to see unbalanced assignment problem, okay. In order to proceed unbalanced problem, First step is convert unbalanced into balanced assignment problem. Okay. Assignment problem has two phases. Phase 1 and phase 2. All those things we will see along with the problem for better understanding. Look at the problem. Solve the following unbalanced assignment problem of minimizing total time for doing all the jobs. Okay. See the matrix. Here we have 5 jobs. And 6 operators. Okay, we need to assign each and every job to a different operators in order to minimize the total time. Okay, so generally in order to apply the assignment problem, we need to have square matrix that is balanced one. Okay, both rows and columns must be equal. But here we have 6 rows, 6 operators and 5 jobs. This one is non-square matrix that is unbalanced problem. So the first step is convert unbalanced into balance by adding another column because here we have 5 columns. So we need to add one more column with dummy entries. Okay, zero entries. See the matrix. We have converted unbalanced into balanced one by adding the dummy column with zero entries. Okay. Now the non-square matrix converted into square matrix. Now let us see the step by step procedure to proceed further. See, we have converted unbalanced into balanced one. Okay. The next one is according to Hungarian method, it has two phases, phase one and phase two. Under phase one, there are two steps are there. One is row reduction, another one is column reduction. Okay, so what is the procedure for row reduction and column reduction? See the procedure. For row reduction, subtract the minimum value of each row from the entries of that row. Okay, this is the procedure for row reduction. The same procedure even for column reduction. Subtract the minimum value of each column from the entries of that column. Okay, I will explain the two rules along with the solution for better understanding. See the matrix. We are going to apply row reduction. What is the rule for row reduction? Select the minimum value in a particular row and subtract that minimum value from all other elements in the particular row. Okay, in the first row, the minimum value is 0. Okay, so we need to find the row minimum. In each and every row, we need to find out the minimum value. So, first row, minimum value is 0. Second row, minimum value is 0. Okay, in all row, the minimum value will be same. See, now we need to subtract the minimum value from each and every element of a particular row. So, 12 minus 0, 12. 4 minus 0, 4. 10 minus 0, 10. Okay, we are going to get the same figure because we have got 0 as minimum value. So, after row reduction, we are going to get the same matrix. Okay, now we need to go for the second step that is column reduction. See, after doing the row reduction, okay, you will be getting the new matrix. From the new matrix only, you can perform the next step that is column reduction. Okay. Since we have got 0 as minimum value, we have got the same matrix as new matrix. Okay. So, according to this problem, you can proceed the column reduction from the new matrix. Okay. So, we need to find the minimum value in each and every column. In the first column, minimum value is 4. In the second column, 4. In the third column, 6. 
in the fourth column 4 fifth column 10 last column 0 now we have got the column minimum okay now we need to subtract the minimum value from each and every element of that particular column so 12 minus 4 8 4 minus 4 0 14 minus 4 10 12 minus 4 8 18 minus 4 14 8 minus 4 4 okay this is the method to find out the new value the same rule you can apply for each and every column okay in the next column the minimum value is 4 so 4 minus 4 0 10 minus 4 6 like that you can find out the new value for each and every column see this is the new matrix after row reduction and column reduction okay so we have completed phase 1 now let us see phase 2 see the phase 2 Phase 2 is optimization of the problem. That is, uh, we are going to find out the optimum solution for the problem. It has 5 different steps. I will explain one by one along with the solution. The first step is, draw a minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros of the matrix. Okay. In order to apply step 1, it has 2 procedures. The first one is row scanning and second one column scanning. We will see how to perform row scanning and column scanning along with the problem for better understanding. See the matrix. We are going to draw a minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros of the matrix. Okay. For that we have to do row scanning and column scanning. Okay. So what is the procedure for row scanning? Start from the first row. Ask the question. Okay. Is there exactly one zero in that row? If yes, mark a square around that zero, okay, and draw a vertical line passing through that zero, okay. So, otherwise, skip that row, go to the next row. This is the procedure for row scanning. See the first row, here we have more than one zeros, okay. So, skip this row, go to the next row. Even in the second row, we have two zeros, skip. In the third row, we have got only one zero. So, mark a square around that 0 and draw a vertical line passing through that 0. Okay. Now, go to the next row. Here also we have got more than 1 0. So, skip. The fifth row, no zeros. Sixth row, no 0. Okay. Now, check whether all the zeros are covered with line. If yes, go to second step. Otherwise, you have to do column scanning. See in the matrix uh, we have covered only these zeros. These are the zeros are not covered with lines. Now we have to perform column scanning. Same procedure. What is the procedure for column scanning? See the procedure for column scanning. Same thing. Start from the first column. Ask the following question. Is there exactly one zero in that column? If yes, Mark a square around that zero entry and draw a horizontal line passing through that zero. Otherwise, skip that column and go to next column. Okay. After scanning the last column, check whether all the zeros are covered with lines. Now, let us see column scanning. See the matrix. So in the first column, check whether we have got only one zero. Yes. We have only one zero. So, mark a square and draw horizontal line passing through this zero. Okay. Then go to the second column. Check is there only one zero? No. We have got two zeros. So, skip this column and go to next column. Yes. In the third column, we have got only one zero. So, mark square and draw a horizontal line passing through this zero. The next one in the fourth column, we have got only one zero. So, draw a square and draw a horizontal line. Okay. Then in the fifth column, no zeros. Sixth column already deleted. Okay. So, we have performed row scanning and column scanning. Now, check whether all the zeros are covered with lines. Yes. Okay. We have covered all the zeros with lines okay see the procedure after scanning the last column check whether all the zeros are covered with lines okay 
in this problem this condition is satisfied so we can go to the next step if you find any zeros without covered by lines then we need to repeat row scanning and column scanning as much as possible okay in some case we may get few zeros without covered by lines after row scanning and column scanning in that case we need to apply diagonal selection rule that we have already uploaded in a separate video you can find the links in the description box so according to our problem we have satisfied this rule now we can go to the next step see the next step that is step 2 check whether the number of square marked is equal to the number of rows of the matrix okay if yes go to step 5 that is the final step optimality is reached okay otherwise go to third step okay now let us see the matrix see the matrix according to step 2 we have to check whether the number of square marked is equal to number of rows okay so here square marked is 1 2 3 4 so number of square marked is 4 it should be equal to number of rows here we have six rows okay so both are not equal now see the procedure step 2 is uh, we have to check whether the number of square marked is equal to number of rows of the matrix okay according to our problem both are not equal okay if yes go to step 5 that is optimality is reached okay otherwise we need to go to step 3 so in this problem we have not satisfied this rule so we have to go to next step see the procedure the next step is identify the minimum value of the undeleted cell values from the undeleted cell values we need to find out the minimum value okay after finding the minimum value that minimum value need to be added okay add that minimum undeleted cell value at the intersection points of the present matrix okay we need to add that minimum value in the intersection points okay and we need to subtract the minimum undeleted cell value from all the undeleted cell values okay so first we need to add at the intersection point and then we need to subtract from all other undeleted cell values okay and the third one is uh, all other entries remain same i will explain these three points along with the solution see the solution according to step 3 we need to find out the minimum value from undeleted cell values okay so which is the minimum value from the undeleted values 2 is the minimum value okay so now we need to add this minimum value at the intersecting point these are the three intersecting points okay here we need to add 2 2 so this is also intersecting point plus 2 and this is also intersecting point 2 so we have added the minimum undeleted value at the intersecting points okay now we need to subtract the minimum value from undeleted values okay so these are the undeleted values so 10 minus 2 12 minus 2 6 minus 2 like that we need to subtract 10 minus 2 8 12 minus 2 10 like that okay okay so we have subtracted the minimum value from the undeleted values okay what is the third step all other elements is going to be remain same 8 0 4 0 2 0 6 10 10 4 and then 8 0 0 4 0 0 0 so these are the same values okay we have performed step 3 now we need to go to step 4 see the procedure the next step is step 4 okay step 4 is go to step 1 okay again we have to do row scanning and column scanning 
in order to draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros. Okay. See the solution. In the first row, we have got more than one zeros. Okay. Skip that row. Go to next row. Here we have got only one zero. So mark a square around this zero and draw a vertical line passing through this zero. Then third row. Again we have got only one zero. So mark square and draw a vertical line passing through this zero. Okay. Next one. Fourth row, we have got more than one zeros. Okay. Skip this row and go to next row. Yes. In the fifth row, we have got only one zero. So, mark a square around this zero and draw a vertical line passing through this zero. Then, go to the last row. Again, we have got only one zero. Mark a square and draw a vertical line. Okay. Row scanning is over. Now, we have to do column scanning. So, first column deleted, second and third column also deleted, fourth column, yes, we have got only one zero in the fourth column, mark a square around this zero and draw a horizontal line passing through that zero. Then, fifth column, yes, we have got only one zero, so mark square and draw horizontal line, okay. Now, check whether all the zeros are covered with lines. Yes, all the zeros are covered with lines. Okay. So now, after doing row scanning and column scanning, what is the next step? We need to check whether the number of square marked is equal to number of rows. Okay. So how many squares are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Number of square marked is 6 is equal to number of rows. How many rows are there? 6 rows. Yes, both are equal. Condition satisfied. Now, optimality is reached. See the procedure. Second step is, check whether the number of square marked is equal to number of rows of the matrix. Yes, okay. In our solution, we have got 6 squares and 6 rows. Okay, so both are equal. So, what is the next step? If yes, go to step 5. What is step 5? See the last step, that is step 5. Treat the solution as marked by the squares as the optimal solution. Okay. So, we have reached optimality. Now, we can see the solution. See the solution. We have reached optimality. Now, we have to find out the total minimum time taken to perform all the jobs by the operators. Okay. First operator, job 4 is assigned. Second operator, job 1 is assigned. Operator 3, no job because this one is dummy column. No, so 0. So, no job for operator 3. And fourth one, job 5. Fifth operator, job 2. Sixth operator, job 3. Okay. Now, we need to find out the total minimum time taken. For that, see the original matrix. Now, we have to find out the time required by each and every operator for the assigned job. Okay. For the first operator, the fourth job is assigned to first operator. First operator, fourth job, time required is 4 hours. Second operator, job 1, 4 hours. Third operator, job 6. Okay, for third operator, no job is assigned because this one is dummy column. So, 0. Then fourth operator, fifth job, 10 hours. And fifth operator, Job 2, 6 hours. Sixth operator, third job, 8 hours. Now, find out the total minimum time required by all the operators. 4 plus 4 plus 10 plus 6 plus 8, 32 hours. This is the optimum solution for this particular problem. So, this is the way to solve unbalanced assignment problem. In the next video, we are going to see restricted assignment problem. You can find the links in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.